everyone, um, you saw the intro to this video. I had gotten uh, an MRI done on my right shoulder because there's an ongoing issue. Um, and there was something funny that came back with the bone marrow. Uh, the shoulder itself just has an impingement. That's not my concern. It's not an immediate need for surgery or anything like that. It's just something that's going to have to get taken care of you know, at some point whenever I'm ready to take care of it. But the concern was the bone marrow was funny. Um, so that has now stemmed out into me having to go to further specialists and for more tests. Um, right after I got that MRI, I went to a general practitioner that Friday, got a script for some blood work, um, and then Saturday morning, uh, I think that's like August 4th, something like that, I went to the local lab core down by me and, um, got the blood work taken. So on Monday morning, I get a call from the general practitioner and this is why I don't trust doctors. Um, and a lot of people that work for them. And I won't mention the doctor's name because I don't want to slam him as a person because it wasn't he who read me the report. It was somebody who works at the office and obviously doesn't know how to read. Um, the, the, the report came back with some kidney function that's sli slightly higher than normal, which is to be expected. Uh, I took the test dehydrated because I woke up first thing in the morning. I didn't have enough time to pump myself full of water. And on top of that, with the way that I'm built with my musculature, uh, and on top of that, due to the fact that I'm still in contest prep and I'm 30 pounds lighter, tends to skew those markers. So there wasn't really any concern there, but she skipped right over the part that highlighted a particular white blood cell count uh, marker called EOS Absolute. Now, my platelets, my white blood cell count, my red blood cell count, all these things were in perfect order um, but this one EOS absolute kind of stood out the usual average is 0 to 0 0.4 uh, mine was at 0 0.9 it was more than double it was highlighted in bold and it said hi and the reason why I knew what the blood sample said is because LabCorp posts their results on the portal because I like to read these markers for my own well-being just to see what my body every time I go for blood work every year um, I like to see the results just to see if anything's out of line, just for my own knowledge, education, understanding. Uh, as you know, I'm very much into the fitness world, so I like to understand what all these things mean. The U.S. absolute is a particular type of white blood cell that usually is in response to inflammation or infection type of deal. Um, you know, if you have scarlet fever or an allergy to something, but it also stands out as another marker for things such as Crohn's, lupus, blood cancers like leukemia uh, and other markers. Um, so I'm glad I actually read the report because I was scheduled to go see a hematologist Thursday. Um, I went to see the hematologist Thursday and he wasn't overly concerned about the blood markers, especially since everything was kind of in line. However, I did ask a couple specific questions uh, regarding the EOS marker and what could possibly be causing this thing to be raised because I don't have any allergies obviously I'm not having an allergic to reaction to anything I don't think I have any viral bacterial infections that I'm unaware of because uh, I feel perfectly healthy so there was also a possibility of maybe the bone marrow looking funny because I was thinking maybe it was like a bone bruise or an edema or something like that in the shoulder just because of the years of pounding on it so I specifically asked the hematologist could it be an edema or a bone bruise? He said, absolutely not. Had it been, the, the radiologist would identify that or confirm that in the MRI report. So unfortunately, not something I wanted to hear, which would have been more positive in my opinion, uh, was, was ruled out. Um, then I asked him about this EOS absolute and I said, you know, what if this is like the best case scenario where something bad is just starting to happen in my body and the EOS absolute has started to raise. Now, where I would be is at 900 and that would be considered a mild elevation at this point um, but it's an elevation that stands out so I said you know it could the EOS absolute start to raise before the white blood cell count uh, starts getting wacky and for all I don't know if anybody knows but there are five different types of white blood cell counts that make up your white blood cell count so I, I can't explain all of them and even mention all of them by name, but I'm really going to focus on this EOS Absolute. So 
even though my EOS absolute is off, the other four are in line, so my white blood cell count's fine, but I said, you know, could it, could it indicate something's wrong before everything else starts indicating something's wrong? And he said, absolutely. Um, so that's a little concerning to me. With that being said, it is now stemmed out to them drawing more blood to do further tests uh, as to what the hell is, is going on. They're going to look under the cells of the microscope to see if they see anything abnormal. And then that Friday morning at 7.15, I went in for a bone marrow biopsy because unfortunately, even if the blood doesn't really show it or shows a little something, it's not going to necessarily tell us exactly what it is. Um, so they're doing the bone marrow biopsy as well um, to absolutely positively try to figure out what the hell is going on and why this marker is off and why I had the funny looking uh, bone marrow in my right shoulder. So I'm not going to lie, um, I'm a little nervous, but it's more of I just want an answer because if I have an answer, good or bad, at least I know what direction to take. And the one thing I hate is I just don't know. My wife and I don't know if anything's wrong. We don't know if it's just something that's, you know, I have some sort of weird uh, something going on that's just not even major. It's just, it's constantly like a question mark over our head. Um, so uh, we're just kind of in limbo here waiting. Uh, I am nervous, like I said, I'm not gonna lie because at 37 years old, um, living as healthy as I do, focusing on my nutrition, fitness being my life, uh, having a two-year-old son, uh, you know, it's, it's scary to have that thought that I may have something that requires a, a much more um, invasive treatment, uh, such as something like chemotherapy or anything like that. Uh, and the last thing I want to have is, is some, you know, I, I don't want to be dealing with that right now. And, you know, I know people who have, and I've seen what they've gone through and it's, it's scary as shit, to be honest. Um, so I'm hoping that I'm going to have more answers here soon by Thursday coming up. Um, I will have an answer, uh, one way or another, I guess, as to what's going on inside my body. Um, I have no idea what would be causing it. As I said, I am a natural bodybuilder, and if any one of you fucking trolls, I swear to God, write something about steroid use, you're getting blocked. Um, because I've never used it. Um, and shame on you for being an asshole and inconsiderate, okay? Um, so, I'm just trying to figure out why my body is being funny. Uh, regardless, August 25th, I'm doing OCB Battle of the Belt regardless of the diagnosis, um, and then we're going to go from there. So uh, I'll keep you up to date, guys.